So really quick progress update on my faulty MVS board that I'm working on here. And first of all, I just want to say a massive thanks to Luke Morse. Dropped him a PM the other day and in no time at all he responded back with a really long, detailed message basically telling me step by step how I need to get this thing all hooked up and tested out. So really appreciate you taking the time to do that, Luke. And there was tons and tons of really useful information that I'll be able to use to get this all uh, connected up and tested. So massive thanks for that. But so far, I've got more or less everything I need to get this all tested out. So my camera's going a bit crazy there. I've got a, an old ATX power supply and a little switch I've hooked up to it to turn it on and off. That's the power cord for it. I went and bought a JAMA harness. This is a pre-wired one, so I'm going to need to um, alter that slightly so it will work with my MVS board here. You can see the <laughs> tons of wire to uh, sort through there. Also got a, an old RGB SCART cable here. So the really nice thing about these MVS boards uh, is that you can hook them up directly to an RGB SCART and hook them into your TV, which is really convenient for me. Don't need to use a converter or anything like that. I've already taken the, the board partially apart. I've not really done any work on it. I did snip off the, the dodgy battery that was on there. You can see it there. This is the one I'd leaked everywhere and caused the, the damage. Um, I'll quickly show you the board here. It's not too bad. There's some damage around the, the battery you can see there. I did find one broken trace and that's, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, right there. Oh, it's going to focus. You can just see where my finger is there. Uh, so that'll need to get patched but um, I scraped off some of the the cover in there just to check with the multimeter if these were all connected up and they seem to be fine. I was basically just checking, like working away from the battery and outwards uh, and all the areas that looked like they'd been damaged by that battery leaking and I've only found one dodgy trace so far so that's not so bad. I'm kind of hopeful that I'll get that running again. Um, I'm waiting for the replacement battery holder for this. This is the only part I don't really have yet so and uh, what I'll probably do tonight is hook up all the uh, the connectors and everything so it's ready for when I do get that sorted and get that trace um, reconnected. That's the top section there where you plug in the cartridge. And I did go out and buy this as well, and some people will frown upon this, but um, it's actually pretty cheap. It was cheaper than buying a, a single game, and I'm guessing since I don't have any games uh, for this system at the moment. This is a good way to test out a few different ones. It's a 48 in one um, multi cart. And I know some people really don't like these things, but um, it was the easiest option for me here. But there's lots of really good games for me to check out in this. And I'll probably end up picking up the real games at some point as well. It's got like Metal Slug and Strikes 1945 Plus. A few games that I've been really wanting to test out, but yeah, that's the cartridge I got. So, so far I've got more or less everything I need, and uh, just need to hook it all up, and get that battery holder as well, and I should be good to go. So, might not get it working again, but at least I've uh, now got some equipment for testing out these arcade boards. So, thanks for watching, thanks to look for the uh, all the info you gave me, really appreciate that. So. We'll see how it goes from here.